Hello and welcome to this balance test short report overview. Let's get right to the test report. So now when you go to zinzinotest.com and you enter your code of your particular test, balance test, you get a short version of the report. Now, if you scroll down, this is what I would strongly recommend to get to the section, download your balance test report full in PDF. You can also change the language to whatever language you like the most, and then click on this download your balance test report and get the full version. And I would strongly recommend to read it thoroughly through. You will get a lot of good information and insights into the test. Now, this is the top section is an overview, a little lower uh, scrolling down. You will start looking at the parameters that are very intuitive. You can see that this arrow shows your report ratio and the green zone is intuitive. That is a good zone. Yellow zone is already bad, but not so bad as the red zone. Now, omega sixes and omega threes play a very essential role in health of the body and in health of the cell. Now, if this ratio is not in a good zone, this is where a lot of problems start with your cells and with the functions of the cells and with your health and with your long-term results in health. So now if you are, so omega-6s are increasing inflammation, omega-3s are decreasing inflammation. The higher is the ratio, the more inflammatory your body becomes. For some of you that might not say that much, but I will translate it into the, the simpler language. If you have any pains in the body anywhere, if you have joint pains, or if you have back pains, or if you have neck pains, or anything is going on with the skin um, or any organ pain, also headaches, that could be lack of omega-3 and too high omega-6 ratio. So if you have any of those symptoms, any pain in your body, this might be the cause. There are also many other things that omega-6s and omega-3s are controlling in the body as blood pressure. So if you have anything related to cardiovascular health, one of the possible reasons is lack of omega-3 and high omega-6. So you should be willing to, to, to return those ratios back to the norm. Anything with your immune system, if your immune system is not functioning properly, if you get colds very often, or if you get any other um, immune system dysfunction, this is where one of possible reasons could be your bad omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. So as you can hear, uh, this is a vast variety. I cannot go through all the, of the list of the, of the symptoms and of the consequences and even irreversible damage to the body that this imbalance creates. So I would strongly recommend and any scientist on the planet, uh, any doctor on the planet would strongly recommend you to return back to good ratio of omega-6 to omega-3 and to high level to normal level of omega-3 in the cell. So now, as you can see, the normal ratios is between one to one and three to one. I'm a bit more strict. I say between one to one and two to one. This is where uh, optimal cell function is. And this is where I want to be all the, of the time. And all the people who are close to me, who I love, I want them to be in this zone. Now, over three to one, cells start functioning improperly, not the way, not at optimal as they are pre-programmed genetically. And over nine to one, this is where I call it 100% consequence zone, which means that the consequences are already there and the irreversible damage to the body is coming. And the more you stay in that zone, the more of those irreversible changes are happening and the more life quality decreases and you feel worse and worse and worse. And sometimes if you don't do this test, you may not be able to find the reason because most of other tests could be still normal when this ratio is already in red and you already experience bad health, but other tests are still at normal. So, and then maybe you go to a doctor and the doctor says, I don't know, everything is okay. You are okay. So stop winding and go back to life and, and live your life well. 
And that's not really true because your body is really suffering from bad ratio of omega-6 and omega-3. Okay, so now the second parameter here shown is protection value. Now, protection value basically says that if your protection is at zero, as most of the people are, means that they are getting the consequences of lack of omega-3 and high omega-6. Now, if it's at 100, this is what, what this parameter says, that there is nothing more that you can achieve by balancing fatty acids, which means that you are at optimal from the standpoint of fatty acids in your cells. So now the, the third parameter, and for me, it's actually the second parameter, is the omega-3 index. So how many percent of omega-3 is in the cell? And I like to move the dot uh, um, uh, and, and read it as 33% because 10% is the absolute norm. So between eight and 10. So 10% equals 100 is equals all of the omega-3s are in the cell if you have 10%. So which means 100% of omega-3s are there. So 3.3 out of 10% equals 33 out of 100. So which means this particular test has 33%, one third of omega-3s that the cell should have. And consequences start below 80%, below eight. So uh, if your test shows yellow parameter, this is where you get some of the consequences of lack of omega-3. If it's in the red zone, you get a lot of um, consequences of omega-3. And this is where most of the population of the planet is. So just look at this map. Uh, so in the map, we can click on any country and you can find the map in zinzinotest.com, clicking on balance test, scrolling down a bit and there's a blue um, uh, field where it says test uh, map um, of the world. And you can click on Scandinavia. They are the best 11 to 1. It's still in the red zone. And Sweden is still in the red zone, 10 to 1. But uh, down to south of Europe and west of Europe is worse and worse. Like Germany, 15 to 1. This is really bad. Deeper into the red zone. And Spain, 21 to 1. Portugal, 17 to 1. Then United States are one of the worst, 22 to 1. Australia, 12 to 1, Asia, 36 to 1 in India, and, and so on. So you can check what are the averages. And, well, we don't want to be average. <laughs> so most of us, we would like to be in the green zone, not where the averages is, because with averages, we get average results of health, which in today's society, our health on average is not even close to where we would like it to be. It's pretty bad at the moment. So now omega-3s, we want to return them back to 10%. Now the next parameter is mental strength. And now mental strength means that your brain has enough of the fatty acids that it needs, or it has low amounts of the omega, uh, of the fatty acids that it needs. And in this particular case, it's in the red zone. And if you are in the red zone, you may be experiencing a lot of brain dysfunctions as you may feel tired. You may feel uh, unrested after the night's sleep. You may get up all tired already. You may need a lot of coffees through the day. You may be uh, concentrating your attention not the best way. Um, you may uh, do a lot of mistakes when you do um, any work, uh, uh, mental work. So, so if you are experiencing those uh, symptoms, one of the possible reasons is uh, this balance of fatty acids. And we have already learned to, to fix it back to the green zone. So now next parameter is cell membrane fluidity, which basically means how well the nutrients cross the cell membrane into the cell and how well the waste goes out of the cell. So now if this is in the red zone, that may mean that you can take the best food on the planet. You can use the best vitamins and micronutrients that are available on the planet and your cells will still be lacking those nutrients because 
they have difficulty to cross the membrane into the cell. And cells are going to be intoxicated all of the time. Too much waste that the cell creates itself is still in the cell it, the, because cell has difficulty to push it out. So you may feel uh, intoxicated after any, when, when you use, uh, so, so basically any food that has some uh, bad ingredients uh, would work worse on you and, uh, and you will have, um, after you use uh, drinks that you should not be using a lot, uh, the next day you will have uh, a lot of uh, um, symptoms of intoxication in your brain and so on and on. So this is, and you, you, your vitamins will not work the same way and your good food will not work the same way if you're in the red zone. You want to return back to the green zone and it's possible only by balancing the fatty acids. Now, the next ratio is arachidonic acid, and arachidonic is increasing inflammation. It's needed in the body, so too high is not good, too low is not good. So it's it's an important ingredient, but it should be in the green zone. Although you should not care that much about arachidonic in the first test, especially if it's too high, because once you start balancing the fatty acids, Omega-3s and arachidonic compete. So the more omega-3s end up in the cell, the less arachidonic is going to be there. So it's going to return back. You should take care if you have too low arachidonic. Then you have to Google uh, arachidonic, whatever source, Wikipedia is good enough, and look for the supplementary and nutritional uh, food sources of arachidonic and eat a bit more of arachidonic if you are low on that because that means that you are not getting enough from food and not producing enough in your body so now uh, for those who want to go a bit deeper into the fatty acids saturated fats uh, if they are too high that may mean that you're eating too much carbohydrates and sweets and uh, and everything what is in those sweets and cookies and cakes and whatever so, so this, uh, in most of the cases, it's, um, well, you have to check that. Now, omega-9s are in avocados, in olives, and, uh, and in, in um, you know, other sources of food. It's not a big problem in most of the cases. The biggest problem in most of the cases is omega-6s and omega-3s. In this particular case, if you look at EPA, EPA minus 79%, only 21% left. That's that's very, very bad. That's where it's impossible for the cells to function properly. And DHA is minus 39. This, this is really, really a bad situation for this particular person. It has to be corrected. Fortunately, finally, we have the solutions to correct those. So, so what I would recommend is to read your test report. Uh, then to contact the person that uh, made the test to you or helped uh, you to acquire the test and then to start balancing your fatty acids in your cells and return back to much better quality of life, to much better life in general, longer life, less pain and uh, better health, better energy, better brain function better cardiovascular function, better immune system function. Basically, that's returning back to much better quality of life. That's what I recommend for you. Thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye.